everybody, welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. Today, I am going to be sharing with you seven, if not more, things that you should be looking out for when you are thrifting, if you're wanting to flip them on eBay, Etsy, any other platform that you might want to list on, Poshmark, Mercari, etc., etc. There are so many out there, so many places to list and make money, and if you like videos like this where you're trying to learn how to find things to flip online to make a profit, then make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when I put out new videos because I make videos like this all the time where I'm thrifting, garage sailing, or just sharing thrift hauls and things that I am selling online. Here is my first item. You might overlook something like this. It's like a decoupage wooden plaque, but these can actually sell for pretty good money. Um, this is Saver, so I have a 20% off coupon. When you donate there, you can get 20% off. So this was three bucks. Let me show you what I'm talking about with decoupage vintage plaques like this. I'm gonna pop up some recently sold items on eBay so you can see the different kinds of sold. So here's a Mount Rushmore one that sold for about 25 bucks. There's a little girl just in a rocking chair for 20. There's Elvis, which of course is a winner, 50 bucks on Elvis. Here's an owl. A lot of times subject matter does matter on these. So if you find one, it wouldn't hurt to look it up and see if maybe it's something that could sell. This one was yellow. It was very kitschy. It was, you know, Mother's Day, but it had cute little animals. So I definitely went with that. I have it listed. I think I listed it for about $30. I'm trying to branch out into some different areas, but I haven't bit the bullet on really big art like this yet. Um, the shipping, I mean, I shouldn't allow shipping to scare me, but... Because I've shipped big breakable items before, but sometimes I just don't want to take the plunge, if you know what I mean. If you have anything that you don't like to pick up just because of the shipping or the hassle involved in it, leave a comment down below. Let me know what it is for you. And, uh, yeah. So I'm always checking. I check for long burger baskets. They can sit for a little while, but some of the prices on them, depending on the basket, have been picking up. So I definitely look for those. I thought this was cool, that cool canteen, but I'm like, oh, I don't know about cleaning that because I'd want to clean the inside of it. Mm, I don't know. All right, so this doll I looked at, and I kind of wish I had looked at it a little closer because upon further uh, research, some of these pan painted fabric canvas dolls can sell for really good money. So I think the next time I see one, I'm going to give it a little bit more of a look over and see if it's something that might be worth picking up. So I don't feel too bad about leaving it behind, but after researching, I was like, oh, maybe I, I could have spent a little more time looking it up. But that's the thing. You just keep learning new things when this, when this industry, I guess you could call it, this business. I mean, that's the fun thing. There's so much to learn, so much to um, branch out in, you know. So anyway, I do get this little votive candle. That's another area that I'm still trying to learn more about, which is... Uh, glassware, candle, like candle holders or crystal. I just don't know a whole lot about it. So I'm, I'm always trying to learn new things when it comes to this. And I'm always trying to find at least one thing in different categories that I can be on the lookout for. Because even if you just learn one new thing, like say with plates or crystal or dolls or toys or, or clothes, like at least when you go into that section, you're like, okay, I've got one thing to look for and then you can branch out from there and then start learning. Okay, now I've got two things to look for so that you're really a powerhouse when you come to any section in the thrift store or if you're at a garage sale so you don't overlook, you know, leave money on the table, so to speak. Not so to speak. Speaking. So I'm noticing I just walked by that little ginger jar, which is something I really like picking up and I didn't even notice it. That happens. If you ever record yourself, I know I say this, if you ever record yourself at the thrift store and go back and watch it, you'll be surprised at how many things that you, you miss. I saw like a weird looking cat over there too that I think I missed as well. But coming up here, I see this wedding vase. I didn't show you. I'll show you more of it in just a second. But these Native American wedding vases, it's like this bulbous bottom. Then it's got two spouts and a handle. Uh, these can also sell for really good money. So, and again, this is also one, you know, look at it for condition issues and also look up if it's got a mark look it up because there are some that sell more for more than others but usually it's a it's a pretty safe bet to get them this is one that was rancho felice i believe was the brand on this one and it's this sandware like pueblo style um wedding vase 
So I have this one up and listed already for, I believe, between $50 and $60. Uh, luckily, the tag was inside it. I haven't been able to get it out yet. I need to get something long. Oh, here's the floor. A price tag fell off of the plate I was looking at. One of those long, crimpy things. Look at that weird cat that I didn't even look at. Can you believe that? I love looking at weird stuff, too. So here's this hobo clown. I was checking it out to see if there were any marks. He might have been an okay pickup. Uh, but yeah, I left him behind. What else do we see here? And you guys, I always love learning from you. So if you see something that I missed, look at that thing. I don't even look at it. Aha. You guys recognize this one? The style on this one is, wait for it. You probably already know. This is Jim Shore. Jim Shore is another one that can sell for really good profit. It's kind of got that quilted look to it. And here are some different Jim Shore prices. I've sold Jim Shore over and over again, like the Aristocats and some like Pinocchio's cat, um, Figaro. But again, look, some of them sell for more than others, so definitely look them up. But there are a lot more, in my in my experience, a lot more wins than misses with the Jim Shore stuff. So if it's in good shape, it's definitely worth picking up and uh, and flipping for the right price. That oh, I do pick this up too. I kind of think maybe I shouldn't have. But I liked it, and I like the copper look of it. I see those, I see the little bracelet holders like that, um, and just thought, well, I don't really see the ones that look like uh, a copper like that. And I'm trying to tell, there was a little figure there, it looked like a pig, and now I'm like, was that a warthog? Because picking up really interesting uh, figural items, like, you know, animals that people like, it can also be really, really profitable, like figurines, metal ones especially, I like to go for ones like this that are they look like mm, I, I don't really go for ones like that however music boxes that's another story but that one looked like it was broken that does look like a warthog especially figurines that you don't see a whole lot of I love these little kissing uh, angels those are cute but I don't get them I do not what else do we see here I see like a chalkware like Native American chief but he had quite a bit of damage, and they wanted seven bucks. You see all the little chips in the... I've sold chalkware before. Man, that stuff is hard to keep. I mean, it just barely bumps, and the, like, the, the finish like rubs off. It's, it's so tough. I got a, a, a while back a bunch of it at an auction. I, I mean, it ended up selling it all, but... Oof. Okay, we're going to have a nice look-see uh, close-up here of my cart. All right, next up, I see this stuffed animal down here, and I think... At first, it's a jelly cat because it's kind of got that that shape of some of the jelly cats. Um, jelly cat is another plush that is definitely worth looking out for. But just like with any plush, it's you know good to look it up. But the jelly cat stuffed animals can sell. I've actually sold pom pom, but I didn't have the multicolored one. Mine was I think it was all pink. Um, yeah, I mean they look at this one sixty two dollars. So. A lot of times, you know, especially if they're retired and somebody's kid loses their favorite plush and they have to have that fox, that same one back. Parents are willing to spend whatever it takes to get that, to get their precious babe. Oh, wait. If you're queasy and blood bothers you, for, for you are forewarned. I was really excited about this. I pick it up from the back like this without looking and I slice my finger on that. The back of that bird is uh, broken and I end up slicing my finger on that little piece right there so yeah it's gonna bleed up here in a second but so I take the piece over to the the back you know where they have all the where the workers are I'm like hey y'all this thing just cut my finger you might want to take it off the shelf and and then and then they gave me a band-aid so all's well that ends well right <laughs> how much more of my blood do you want to see mm, maybe not much more all right moving on I, I'm sitting there thinking what should I do what do I do? I'm bleeding. Do I take it? Um, so these were really cool, but I decide not to get them because they do have quite a bit of damage on them. And maybe it was something I should have gotten. They were like this Aztec, which is Aztec or Mayan. I always have to double check on those. Um, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm going to do it. The more I see my blood, I'm like, this really needs to be dealt with. So I take that and, uh, and go deal with my, <laughs> my injury, my thrifting injury. Ah, uh, see, now I'm all bandaged up. <laughs> I'm all better. All right, so here we've got the holiday section. I'm always looking for cool stuff over here. Votives, uh, luminaries, even if they're paper luminaries. I've sold really cool paper luminaries for quite a bit. 
what else? This is a nice little box. I'm trying to figure out now, why did I not get it? Because it's really a nice canister. Maybe because it was $7. But I liked it. I bet it would have sold for, for a good profit. This little spider, I don't know. It's not even a votive, though. I guess it's just like a, you put treats in it or something. It's pretty cute. Maybe I should have gotten that. Halloween stuff. I mean, holiday stuff will sell year-round. Vintage Halloween stuff. Vintage, uh, see, like, this is a little vintage. That probably would have been a good pickup, too. I mean, it may not have sold for a ton of money, but, you know, it's, if I think if it were cheaper, I probably would have gotten it. I am, you know, I do like to make a good profit on things, and I am trying now to pick up a few more things that make a higher profit because I do sell a lot of things that will make five, ten, fifteen dollar profits, and um, which is still really good, you know, because those are the kind of sales that, like, the bread and butter that that holds it all together. But it is good to start looking for for higher profit stuff too. It's just a matter of of finding them, you know. Sometimes you just don't find those uh, items that can sell for for more I thought that was a pretty cool box but it, it was damaged see there it's peeling up I'm trying to show you one-handed um i pick up that cat from the lego movie but i don't uh, end up getting it i look it up before i i buy it <laughs> the kids have brought me this they're always i say i always tell my kids go look for anything weird go look for anything uh, paperweights you know I, I send them out with just like go look for these things and they run around the store and try to find them for me it's nice to have extra eyes out there what else have we got here yeah I come back to these I go back and forth about them but that one has got some damage there tell me what you think would you have gone ahead and gotten them it might have been an okay pickup I could have looked them up but I didn't that's just another another one of those learning moments like well next time Margaret look it up and see look it up and see Let's see, those are just little picture holders. Any cool things? Yeah, I'm try I have quite a, a backlog in my, my office here. So I want to be a little more strategic about what I do buy. So in this section, I always look for blown glass. I like to look for cranberry glass. You got to be careful because sometimes they make it look like cranberry glass, but it's really just painted on. Um, things that are like cobalt blue, like that blue is nice, but it's not like the cobalt blue. I felt like, no, maybe not on that one. And anything just kind of unusual looking. See, that's kind of neat, unusual, but I, I didn't get it. Let's see what else we see here. And then baskets, I already mentioned the longer burger, but then there are also other like woven baskets. Sometimes when you're looking at the basket section, if there's one that's really special, it'll stand out to you. And it's worth looking up because some people really like nice baskets. You know, there's, what is it called? The, the sweet grass ones that are woven. I always forget the name of them. I'm checking these um, canisters, these carousels to see if there's slides in them because I've done well selling vintage slides. You remember a while back at the bins, I bought this big binder and it had medical slides in it. And, and oh my gosh, they were disgusting, but those sold. So these are, they're marked as doorstops, and in the haul video, because I did a haul video for some of the items that I got here, uh, I was informed that they're not doorstops, they're plant stands, which I'd, I'd never seen before. So they are little stands that go under like a potted plant to keep it from, I guess, setting on the, the patio, maybe rotting out the wood or something, letting it drain out better. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I got those. Oh, uh, let's see what else. The bags, you can always find really cool stuff in the bags the bag section, the wall. I look for little figurines because sometimes they'll put little metal. I found so many pewter figurines in these little bags. I guess because they're small, they don't want to put them on the shelf. I don't know, price tags won't fit on them or something. But I have found so many pewter figurines over here or like crystal crystal eggs. I think I actually find some in this, in this video or in this uh, trip. That's a cool little plaque. Yeah, you just never, never know what you're going to find over in the bags. It's like a little treasure hunt. A treasure hunt inside a treasure hunt. And I love picking up smalls because they're, you know, so easy to ship, so easy to store. And you just, yeah, you can make a good profit off them. That's a cute little basket. Make a good profit off of them. I've also found small electronics in the bags over here. Like cassettes or, cam uh, not camcorders, but uh, like little vintage cassette tape players. Gosh, Walkmans. I can't even think of the word right now. I was looking at these little leather figures, but, or little pouches or whatever that was, but decided, no, maybe I'm going to pass on those. 
Also in this section, I found coasters. I, I can do pretty well with coasters as well. They, they've been sitting a little bit more for me lately. Um, I don't, I'm not sure why, but maybe just because it's not a necessity. A lot of people are kind of looking for necessities. Little music box. That's sweet, but it had some damage. I like the little wind-up music boxes like that. Personally, I have a little collection of them myself. What else have we got here? Just little decorations. I'm not seeing anything else that is attracting my eye. So we'll move on to the next section, I think. So in this section where there are boxes and desk organizers, sometimes jewelry boxes, I always look for trinket boxes, especially ones that are inlaid wood or stone, uh, different, uh, like here, this desk organizer. This one's kind of just plain, which might not have been terrible, but I look for desk organizers like that too because they can sell pretty well. Actually, that one might, might have been, depending on the price, a good one to pick up. And then when it comes to plastic animals, it may seem like uh, just like, no, I'm not going to pick up plastic animals, but there are different brands that are pretty good. Uh, I can't say the name. Schillig. There's another one that starts with an S that I can never pronounce. But I wanted to talk about briar horses. So these briar horses can sell for really good money, depending on like the movement of the horse or the, the type of horse it is, like Palomino. This is a Shetland pony. These briar horses um, have got quite a following. So if you find any or you see a horse, just flip it over, look at the belly and see if it says briar on it. I was looking at these. There was like a chameleon in there, but those look kind of like, mm, I don't know. Uh, but, it, but still, even if they're marked Hong Kong, those vintage plastic uh, animals can also sell for a fair profit too, depending on the animal, of course. Look at this. What do you think? Pikachu? You think I'd have some violations? charged against me if I picked up a, a Pikachu like that. All right, no, that's a pass there. I'm always still looking for American Girl dolls. You know, on the back of their neck, it'll say either American Girl or it'll say Pleasant Company if they're older ones. And there's they make little babies too. And then this is another section that I decided I've got to learn a little bit more about because I know I'm leaving money behind with the baby toys. It feels like the baby toys are just like a dime a dozen, but when I went in to do a little research, because I want to have at least one thing to look for if I'm looking at baby toys, and I saw that Fisher-Price makes these bright beats, and they look like little aliens or something, and some of these bright beats can sell for a pretty good profit. There were a few that, that weren't. There was like one that was like a ball that didn't sell for as much, and then this is a little bright beats, like a boom box. Isn't that cute? So I'll definitely be looking for Bright Beats when I'm out there and uh, doing some research on the one I find. Because like I say, just with anything, there's going to be ones that are more profitable than others. And also, you know, condition is going to factor in and, and if it's working and all that. Leave a comment down below. Let me know another brand or another item that you like to look out for. I hope that you found something new in this video because that's what I like to do. I like to share new things, new ways for you to go out there and thrift and make money. Make sure you're following me over on Instagram. And if you haven't yet, go down there and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when I put out new videos. And sometimes I go live, not as much as I used to. And you guys, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for spending time with me today. I'll talk to you later. Bye, everyone. Thank you.